Ooh, so we're going to be starting off with Wolf versus Falco for this game one. King Optin did not play him. Um... <laughs> yeah, I'm so tired of Jeffrey. <laughs> Anyway, getting into this game one on PS2, we have Yeeks versus King, Falco versus Wolf, and Yeeks is not at all concerned about this matchup, it looks like, sitting on 80%, and King does a fear versus neutral B, and will die. Zero to death. Let's see, oh, it looks like he's answering back, though, 45 already. He goes for a down smash, wants that stock so, so much. Alright. That's a very nice confirm. Ooh, just knock it this. Just knock it that down smash on that side B. Ooh, I like that tech chase setup. Alright. Ooh, that down smash is not quite enough to take it. It's looking very, very scary for King right now. He's just keeping up in terms of damage, but a full stock ahead. Ooh, very weird tech. Falling out of the multi hit. Oh man, King taking so much damage. The full stock behind both players at kill percent, though. We're up to almost taking it raw. And Yeeks follows King, tracks him, and gets that up there to take that second stock. Now, with almost full rage on this third stock, this is very, very scary. Falco has moves that can kill so early, and with this rage, it's a problem. Yeeks is... Oh, man. That rage up to up there will take that, and that is game one done in a minute and a half. An incredibly fast game. Yeeks saying he is completely ready for the wall. King opting to choose Roy. Right, come back to PS2. Very, very different character from Wolf. And you see immediately starting to get a little more damage off, but also susceptible to getting it started. Oh, gets us covered on the spot dodge, and a neutral B player blade doesn't quite take it. But does so much damage, King looking way better in form than the last game. Alright, falling up air. Gets that in air. It's a very late killing there. Be a forward throw. Yep. A hundred percent up. King not daunted at all. Oh, goes for that down air. Not quite getting it. Oh no. See how much he's able to get off of this. Does have rage, but Roy has so many kill options. Any of his tilts almost in the range for grabs. Uh oh. Ooh, and he gets that jump off of ledge from King with that down air. Very, very solid comeback on that first stock. But King finishes out, eats the first stock with that flare blade, blade two frame. King said, look, looking like this Roy is very, very good. I did not know he's this flexible in characters with Wolf, Lu Luigi, and uh, Roy. All very different. Ooh, <laughs> King hoping for that roll in. Wanting that stock so early. Uh oh. Oh, well, hopes for an air dodge and does not quite get it. We've seen up tilt back air from Geeks does not quite take it, but it does push King off stage. Very intense situation. Both players forward tilts barely missing. Ooh, gets the grab on that shield. Up smash out of shield will take it for Yeeks. This is very, very intense. Oh, gets sour spot on that side B, unfortunately. Great spacing from Yeeks right there. Aha, uh -huh, that back air completely unavoidable. Very hard situation. If Yeeks went high, King would have had the time to throw it another back air. Uh oh. And here's the damage from Roy. 60% versus now 35. Very, very intense game. Not quite as fast as the last one, but it feels just as intense. 
Alright, both players right around 80. Both players full of kill options in that side B. Dancing Blade will take that second game, this time for King. We saw the first two hits of those Dancing Blade connected, but the third one did not. And that set up for that fourth hit to Sweet Spot and take that game. Going over to Yoshi's. Interesting. See, Falco is a very vertical character. His platforms might be very good for him. We'll see. Alright. The player's playing pretty up in each other's faces immediately. Alright. Ooh! You see the reaction out of those up tilts. You see Kings knowing that isn't quite true and says, I will hit you for this. Ooh, but Yeeks with a nice down air forward air. He now very far off stage and Yeeks does not want to contest it. Uh, oh, uh oh. King right up at the top. Great beer versus side beat from King there. Gets him back to the corner. Better than the top last zone. Uh oh, Roy with Rage is such a, such a character to be scared of. One forward smash, one jab back at hole. And Yeeks decides to get rid of that pressure and just takes the stock, finally. 168 with that down tilt. He's at a high percent though. He's in the range to die very early himself. Uh oh. Oh man, Yeeks with these nice little combos. And so much damage. We'll see King with the jab back here, just, but you just out of range for it. The flare blade will two frame. Both the two stocks, but King is very far behind. Ooh, that forward smash from Yeeks a little desperate. You can, you can tell he's hungry for this kill. Man. And King is fine with this pressure, saying, I will off the other shield, I will marry for it. Neeks finally steals in that kill, not too much percentage on his stuff. Getting a... see how much extra credit he can get in if King is able to take the second stock. Oh man, that dash back was so good. Dash back into side B, baiting King out of that shield. Goes for the same setup again, this time King does not fall for it. Alright, ooh, see the spot dodge for that jab. Like that fall through there. Wow, seeing that triple jab. Before King had been jab and dash back, or jab and spot dodge, and this time changing it up. That up there, up air. This is why Yeeks chose the stage. The platforms are high, those blast zones are low. That's why this stage is the one he picked. It's looking intense for King. We saw him doing a lot better in game two, but I just I think Heeks was not ready to fight a Roy. Oh, you see King actually opting to go to Luigi now. Finally on a stage where it feels like he needs to. Maybe after that Roy loss he goes, I need to go with the true comfort. We got Smash though. Oh, forward air is safe against the Ouija, is grabbing so slow at a field. A pair on that up tilt will only parry the first hit. Interesting. Seems like a very hard matchup for the Ouija to get in. But obviously the Ouija advantage is very good. Wow, really? We saw the startup for the down B, but just out of the intangibility frame. Oh, looking with that down tilt. Now looking great for King right now. That was a great up smash. Very good reaction. Hoping King goes high enough. He just does. King has all the pressure on him losing last game and this potentially being his tournament game. Out at fourth. Just outside of pool. Oh, down throw up. He's not quite taking it. Very, very close though. Definitely showing he has what it takes though. Uh oh. 
to Luigi in the Falco Cyclone. Uh oh, that's sour spot down. There. Won't quite take it. It's potentially could have gone for the stock for there, but opting to go for a return to neutral and get stage control instead. Oh, barely whips that back air. Will not get crossed up by that. Great DI from Meeks there. Mm hmm. Very scary Luigi down tilt. Yep, and that back throw will take it. Strong move. All King needs is one grab. That's what's scary. Is that right there? Could have been it. That's what's so scary. Uh oh. Falco off stage. Not a great character. Luigi super good at ledge trapping. Alright. And we will see another unsafe move on shield. And Yeeks will take that with another up smash. Uh oh, gets that grab barely. But not enough platform space to go for that up B. Oh, but up tilt up B will be the confirm right there. Even this game up. This is so intense. King gets one grab. This could just be it. You have to keep King out. And you have to not. Like that right there. That right there is the fear. You get hit by that, that could just be it. King's leg trapping has been very, very solid. He knows exactly how to use his character. So even if you just get pushed off stage, Falco doesn't have that many options to get to ledge or to get off of ledge. Man, the shield pressure is so good. Oh, goes for the uppy. Gets F smashed for it. And is able to recover at a far enough range to not get punished. Ooh, both players. Oh, will this be the down throw? This will be the down throw up B. Take this game for King has the momentum in his favor. Very, very solid play from King that game. I believe got all three stocks from throws. King popping off. <laughs> Definitely hard matchup, hard player to get in on. He just knows exactly how to slip through. Also, I imagine the mental switch of change of speed between Luigi and Roy is very, very tough. Uh, my name is my name is Ronin. Hmm. Mr. Namki of the Namki House, I believe. All right, going to this game five for losers finals. This is fourth place for one of these players. Both of them have pushed, pushed so far into this tournament. And we did not see King last week, but we did see Yeeks. And he wants revenge. I believe Yeeks got fourth last week. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we see King with this Luigi combo. Yeeks with a great DI. Both players at 40. The King obviously with the advantage because one uppy can take this game. Take this stock. Got it. Right. In the corner again. Yeeks has to give him so much respect because one grab, one uppy could just do it. Oh man. Barely gets out of that ledge corner in time. Does it again. It's a double jump, but does not get it on King. Uh oh, waits for that spot dodge. Does not get the punish on that down throw though. Ooh, that slide off platform so smooth. Oh man, both players so intense in that up air will take that stock. Ooh, that back air will take that one. Just trading stocks, keeping it very, very even. Very, very intense set right here. Uh-oh, we see Yeeks putting on the crazy tornado. Doing 75% to King. 88. Oh, yes, that one grab is what you need to be scared of. Now he's outside of the zero-to-death range. It's the biggest threat in this matchup. 
does not mean it's easy otherwise. Yeek's hungry for the kill, going for that upstairs. Goes for it again. Goes for it again. Definitely feeling the pressure right now. Let's we'll see if King's able to make him crack. Uh oh. Yeah, if he gets the DI. And he gets the DI with that reverse up air into back air. Killing Geeks at such a low percent from that down throw. Wow. King knew he was going to DI out, knew he was going to be scared, and hit him with that immediate interaction. Uh oh. We see King with the advantage. It means he has to approach. Approaching Luigi is always a scary thing. See 50 percent. Make that 60 percent extra credit. This is up B range. He has to be so careful. This could be the down throw into the game. That is losers finals. It was close, and King pushed through with dominating grabs, dominating neutral. The semis? Oh. I swear that was. Oh yeah, loser semis. Next is with Robert.